Okay, so I'm wrapping up work. It is about four o'clock. I have an event downtown at seven o'clock. Instead of trying to fight traffic, we thought it would be fun if Anne-Marie dropped me off at the event at seven, but before that, we would go check out some stationery stores in that area. Well, kind of close. Close by LA standards, I suppose. So we thought it'd be fun if you came along. Let's go. <laughs> Forty-one, forty-one. Yay! Okay, so we just came into Eva Franco, and I've tried on this dress, and it's really cute. But it took three people to get the zipper off. <laughs> so I don't know if I should get it. What do you think? Okay, so there's so much traffic, and we're not gonna make it to the other store. Oh my gosh, my camera's balancing precariously on my water bottle. I should actually show you this somehow. How do I do that? Let's see. Okay, can you see how that is balancing? All right, so hopefully I can not make the camera fall down. Anne-Marie dropped me off at Border Girl downtown. I've got this event here tonight and I don't really know much about it, but I'm excited to go. They wouldn't let me bring a plus one. That's okay. Hopefully it's not too loud, although I am downtown, so it's very loud just outside. This seems like a really random time, but I figure it's a good time to talk about some things that have been on my mind a little bit, and it has to do with creativity in general and putting myself out there on YouTube, and I think it's a really scary thing, but I know that in my experience, if you don't take those chances in your life, if you are held back by something because you're afraid of it and you don't end up doing it and time passes and then later on you might regret that you didn't take a chance on something well I just think that creativity is very similar to that in that you have to take creative chances you have to make the leap and try new things and be creative and sometimes you might fail and that's okay there are tons of videos that I have recorded that have not been put up on YouTube for various reasons. Sometimes I'll just take footage and then I'll try to string it along. It doesn't piece together very well into a story or anything. So I think what I'm trying to say with all of this is basically people ask me all the time, how do you just go for things? How do you make things happen? How are you so motivated to stay on projects and to keep up with stuff? I think as far as YouTube goes for me. This is a very big leap of faith that I decided to take and I'm so glad I did. If I had gone with my fearful voice inside my head saying, oh, you know, what if people don't like it? What if you get thumbs downs? What if you get mean comments? Whoa, I just got the camera. I guess the point I'm trying to make is, you know, I'm sitting here going to this restaurant event that I don't know that much about. They told me I can't bring anybody. I'm still here. I feel like you guys are right here along with me. At the same time, if you don't go out and do those things that you want to do and take chances, 
how do you know your potential? How do you know what crazy opportunities lie out there for you to take if you don't just take a small step forward and make tiny leaps of faith to get to the next place in your life or to get through a creative crossroads? You know, there's so many times that I think the easier thing to do would be just to say, oh, politely decline, thanks, but if you just have to go for things that, you know, you're a little unsure about. And that's what this YouTube journey has done for me. And I just feel so lucky and happy that it's inspired so many of you to take little creative risks or to do things that you thought you were afraid of. And those comments just made in the world to me. And I'm so happy that you guys feel inspired to keep those creative juices flowing. And trust me enough that you want to spend time watching my videos. So yeah, I don't know why I got all mushy. I guess I just have this extra time, but hopefully the audio in here doesn't sound too awful and I can post this. So thank you guys for watching as always. That guy walking by just gave me the weirdest look. I cannot find my lipstick. And I really want to put it on for this event. I found it. I found it! This is it for those of you who've been asking. It's Electric Current, and I've got it listed in the description box below. That's where we're going down there, guys. I love being on time. I was super early. I love it. I'm here at the event, and I just met the chefs. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Hi. They are the sweetest, and I'm so excited. We're happy you're here. Buddy. Yeah. We got like the most perfect night. Look at that. We're sitting yeah. on the patio of Border Girl downtown. And we're talking about next week when we are going to be blowing it out of the water in Vegas. In Vegas, you. On court. I Have hope you you're coming. Yet? I haven't. It's such Should we go? Let's yes. go. Come on, you guys. It's such a fabulous event. It's Thursday, Friday, Saturday night. I Tons saw the of itinerary. Chefs. It's amazing. Yeah. And we've, lots of chefs, lots of great food. We've been doing it in 10 years. 10 years. This is the 10th year anniversary. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to do a chili class 101, all the different kinds of chilies that you will ever encounter, including the habanero, the ghost chili. Could you taste that for me, please? Yes, yeah, so let me have a Just bite. Just like a huge bite. <laughs> have you ever seen this? No. It, oh, it looks Santa. like them. Here, you got to taste this. Taste this. This is the most amazing. It tastes like licorice, and it grows wild. It goes wild. It's like a weed in Mexico. We wrap it around. Oh fish. my gosh! We wrap it around cheese. Isn't that amazing? But it's delicious. All you do is just put it in the ground, and it grows. Takes over your backyard. It's unbelievable. And this is my favorite, the platano macho. Why is it platano macho? Well, I don't know. I can only imagine. But we're gonna we slice it thinly with skin and everything, and deep fry it, and then we put our ceviche on top. Okay, here, Amy, taste this. What is that? This is episode. Have you ever tasted it? I don't this think is so. used in flat beads. I started learning about this way long ago because I wanted to make sure when Mary Sue ate black beans it didn't. And this half. Yeah. And this it doesn't <laughs> work. It does not work. No. After all that. This tastes tastes smells like Goodyear tires. But it's a fabulous herb. So I can't great. wait to put this in my mouth. <laughs> a little delicious. bite, a little bite. You can imagine. Oh, it's yeah. nice. Doesn't it taste like tires? But it's good. It's yeah, good, it's like tires. Tires. It's like good tires. I don't know how to describe it as tires. Hold on. It tastes better than tires, I promise. Smell it, though. Smell it. <laughs> Ooh, I love that flavor. Yeah. That smell. It's really. So, I mean, one of the fantastic things about the Mexican kitchen that we found, there's so much fabulous produce, different unusual ingredients, and 35 years ago we had no idea what it was. And now we're just blown away by the use of it and how fresh and interesting the cuisine is. Beans. 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 Don't. You know who I love beans? My two and a half year old. Okay, well, well, there he you go. is obsessed with beans. Does he fart a lot? <laughs> beans, beans, good for your heart. And so you need episode. <laughs> now you have to cook him an episode. <laughs> Hopefully it'll work. It doesn't work on everybody. Just no. Thank you. Cheers. Where's your drink? I need one too. Don't yeah. You? I'll get one. Okay. I quit my job. 
And what did you do? And I started my vlog because why live your life unhappy? Isn't that crazy, you guys? That's amazing. So it's like 7.30 and I'd be here downtown like at night not eating but like working or eating at my desk and now I get to go to these cool events. So people like Amy. Basically you just followed your passion and you made it happen. Not saying that everybody should quit their day job because I don't think that that's true. For me I think it was like if I got to the point that I just wasn't, I knew I was unhappy, you know? And I knew I could do it and I felt like I was good at it and I could continue to do it but if you're not happy then why? So true. I love that! So awesome, follow her. Look, Susan is sitting on the chair and she's making her stand. Very traditional in Mexico is you have the sangrita with then the shot of the silver tequila that you have here. Is there alcohol? Not in this room. Marriage I try. So then normally, like sangrita, I mean, sometimes you'll have sangritas and they're just so. With the home with the pomegranate. Video. Susan says that we should take the sangrita first and then the tequila. I know, I know. So you, do you want to try a second one? Yes. I don't need a second yes, one. I need all of them. Uh, yeah. 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 I think it's better to have. Oh. 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 Wait, how about one, one of, of us? us? Okay, I'll do my sip. Okay, I'll do Susan. Okay, hold on. Here we go. I do a sip and a sip. You should get oh, in the video with them. Yes, oh, so let me know. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't listen to her. I think they're doing it. Alright. She's doing half of it. The pressure. No. She's doing half of it. And then we'll decide. Okay, ready? One, two. Oh boy. Nice. Oh so good. Oh god. So good. Okay, look. I'm a seasoned drinker. Da da. Clearly, let me do it the other way. Wait, Susan, we gotta get up. I'm gonna take a selfie of us. Do it. Oh, you, you cheated. No. I guess we need right. Wait, so which one do you like better? Woo! Woo! I'm a No, you're killing it. Perfect. You're beautiful. Look at how great you are. Killing the game. I love it. Lemonade. So it's a kumquat infused tequila. We make a lemon verbena tea in there. Kumquat puree with a little bit of agave. And I better see if it's your drink's any good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, you better check it out. I got a good feeling about it. <laughs> yeah. I think, well, no, I'm not sure. Okay, you can have it. That is good. I'm so glad I'm Ubering home. Oh my god, that was really intense. Yeah. Taco duo. JJ Reddick is supposed to be here. Tell her this red this And instead, his shot is being taken by Marissa. Oh, I'm taking that shot. I'm taking that shot. Hey JJ! This wait, wait, wait. You. Wait, I need someone to JJ know. had to be at practice. Mine fell down, but man, how good does this look? <laughs> there was a 2.5 surge pricing for Uber, so Caitlin, the PR girl, gave me a ride home. Isn't that awesome? So anyway, I'm gonna open this up. That was super fun. What a beautiful event. A little bottle of Patron. Okay, that is adorable. That was such a fun little excursion. I'm so glad you came along. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you feel compelled to like this video, please do, and leave any comments below. Bye.